Andy, first team won again on Saturday. How important was it for you and the players to show that the first win wasn't just a fluke? Uh, yeah, it was quite important for, for us to, to show that. It was quite important because we'd set ourselves these little mini targets um, towards the end of the season. And one of those was to, uh, was to win two or three games before the end of the season. Uh, and we knew that by doing that, it would ultimately lift us off the bottom. So actually chipping them um, three weeks ago was the, was the first one. Uh, and then we did need to beat Bridgewater. Um, I think when we set that mini target, that was obviously the game that we all felt that we were capable of winning. Um, and we also knew then going into the game that by winning it, it would uh, cement that second bottom position. It sounds strange that we're sort of making a big thing of that, but you know it is important that, that you, you set targets that are achievable. Uh, and then ultimately, you know, we are going to get relegated, um, but there will be some feel good that it wasn't uh, a winless season. Uh, and it wasn't bottom of the league, so uh, yeah, huge, huge moment, really. Okay, so do you think there are any more points yeah. that Blues can win before now and the end of the season? Um, yeah, I do. Um, you know, they're not going to be easy games. Obviously, this weekend is is probably the most difficult one of the three that are left. Uh, there's a side that are in the mix. They're, they, they, um, you know, they can be one of the promoted sides. They, they're smarting from losing to. Bournemouth um, last week they've got to play Reading engines the week after so they've got to keep winning um, to, to stay in the hunt of, of at least um, getting a playoff spot I think actually if Bournemouth win this weekend they get guaranteed promotion so mm -hmm. really Chinna and Reading engines are now playing for that playoff spot and I'm sure they both want it so you know it's going to be difficult this week but then we have a week off over Easter uh, and then we um, we have to play Old Pats at home um, and you know they they have some indifferent performances. Sometimes they play really really well and beat sides that you wouldn't mm -hmm. expect them to beat, and then they have sort of poor performances. We did quite well against them down there in the first half. We did, and then sort of fell off the pace in the second half. So uh, that might be one. They're not really going anywhere. They're not getting promoted. They're certainly not getting relegated. Um, and then the week after that, obviously the last game of the season away at Western Supermare, and I'm sure they'll want to finish on a on a high. Um, but um, similar position to, to old Pats, you know, not relegated, not promoted. We might um, we might find ourselves uh, if we go with the right attitude mm -hmm. um, of picking up some bonus points, possibly possibly even a win, and that that would be you know really a job done. It would. Um, any selection issues then for Chinna on Saturday? Well, there's a few that have crept up inevitably. Um, some that we knew about in advance with regards to people being away, and then one or two injuries and illness. So I'm waiting to sort of see who reports tonight uh, as fit and well. A um, couple of people on standby. Um, Ali's been um, not not been coming down for the last few weeks because of university work, um, and he's carrying a bit of a knee injury. I watched him play yesterday for the university. His knees come through, so he's on standby. In that it's still a bit of a dodgy knee. Mm -hmm. So if we do struggle with him, we'll just call him back. Um, but Price is struggling with a bit of a cold and. Matt Strong with something else, and then you know it, the list goes on. <laughs> Man uh, up, people! Come on. Uh, indeed, indeed. So, um, but in some respects, I think front row um, it should be as strong as it was last week. And I thought for a young set of lads, they did mm -hmm. really, really well. Um, as I say, next this weekend will be a different test, um, but it does all bode well for for next year um, when the same group will be a year older, a year more experienced. Mm -hmm and have a year of, of, of more together. And Sam Sherpak, unfortunately, is now working abroad for the rest of the season. Uh, but Don Payne, um, who's sort of been, a, sort of finding it difficult to get down from Oxford, is, is going to be down, and hopefully he'll stay with us now for the rest of the season. So we'll have a, an out-and-out -out scrum half. Um, Joe Wood is still struggling with his ankle, but I say not play this weekend, have a weekend off. Mm -hmm. He might be available for the old Pats game, which would be nice. Um, and Isaac... Um, has gone walk about for a month, um, which uh, could have done without because yeah. he'd been playing really well. But uh, I knew this was coming. It wasn't something he sprung on me last week, so I knew it was uh, something he was going to do. Okay, and the A's are away, aren't they? But we need to give a shout out to them because they've had another really, really good season. Well, they have, and they haven't lost. Um, they've got themselves into a, a position where they can't be caught now. I think they're on fifty nine points. It might be sixty nine. I can't remember. And the team that they're playing at the weekend, which is Banbury, the guys in second place, they can only catch the A team, can't overtake them. Uh, so all the A's need to do is get a point. 
Um, and one of the many targets we set them um, was to, to win the league. Um, so they need to get a point uh, in their last two games, either this weekend or on the 14th uh, of August, which is a home game against uh, Chipping Norton, I think. So, you know, you hope they'll get it this weekend um, and then, then they can um, relax a little bit the weekend after uh, or the, the, the next game. But, uh, yeah, they're on the verge and it, it's, it's, um, it's good for them. They worked pretty hard, in, you know, uh, through the season. There's been a couple of weeks when they've struggled uh, numbers-wise, but they've always put mm -hmm. in a good performance. That's good. OK, well done to them. Thanks, Andy. OK. Thanks.